according to a submission made to the Parliamentary Standing Committee on Economics, Natural Resources and Public Administration by a group of consent industry stakeholders, the FEMA Act was created by a Canadian consultant in collaboration with the Namibia Financial Institution Supervisory Authority and was not tailored to the unique needs of Namibia's financial sector. The submission further urged the committee to work towards a comprehensive review of the Act and to engage stakeholders in order to develop legislation that is more responsive to the needs of Namibia's financial industry. FEMA was signed into law by President Hage Gengob in 2021 with an understanding that it will ensure the continued financial stability of the Namibian non-banking financial sector. Although the stakeholders welcome the intentions of FEMA to reform the supervision and regulation of the non-banking financial sector, they raised concerns about its impact on the retirement funds industry. In a very developed economy, it makes sense, and Mr. Bettelini will explain that later on in his presentation, it's also very much encouraged. I'll also show you why. However, we don't believe that our Namibian economy is deep enough or diverse enough to take away that choice for members. And we're actually saying the choice is there for, 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 for preservation. You do have a choice. But with FEMA, that choice is taken away. The choice is there. You can transfer it to another fund, or you can transfer it to a, to a preservation fund, or you can transfer it straight into a retirement annuity fund, which only entitles you to in cash at early retirement. The stakeholders highlight several areas of concern, including the relevance of FEMA to Namibia, the risks imposed on employers and trustees, excessive penalties and fines, inconsistency with the Income Tax Act, and the lack of clarity on how certain funds will be governed under FEMA. Industry players are now calling on the government to recall the Act and engage with local stakeholders to develop a more appropriate regulatory framework. They argue that a locally developed framework would be better suited to addressing the needs of Namibia's financial sector and would help promote sustainable economic growth. It remains to be seen how the government will respond to the concerns raised by the industry players. However, the Parliamentary Standing Committee concurred with the submission and promised to do all it can to ensure the Act is revisited to respond to the needs of the country and its people. FEMA is the product of the Canadian consultant. It's on a record. It's not even called by the people representative. These are the people representative from local authority. And we, until today, they are not calling it FEMA, it's our product. Today, we are still calling it FEMA is a product of the Canadians. So it means it does not suit with our situation. Let's change it. Having said that, the floor is open for questions. Daniel Nadunya, NBC News, Vent Hook.